Number three, balance the following equations. And then they give us this nice equation. We got PTCl4 solid yields PT solid plus Cl2 gas. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write this out a little bit nicer. Just to make it a little bit bigger so that we can kind of work on it. So I have this plus PT plus Cl2. And if you notice, I don't write the states because, you guessed it, who cares? Who cares what state they're at, right? Who cares if it's a solid, liquid, or gas? That has nothing to do with balancing of the equation. So I don't even write it. Now we just have to balance this. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our handy-dandy chart. It's a two-tier chart. Whoa, say that five times fast. Two-tier chart. Two-tier chart. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> So we have reactants on the left side. That's all your starting material. It's to the left of my yield sign, my arrow. And I have my products. That's everything to the right of my yield sign. That's what I produce. So this is my starting material and this is my ending material. When we do our chart, we like to list all of the elements. So you're going to break down your compounds into just its individual elements. If I'm looking here, I only see two elements. I see a PT and I see a CL. So I have two elements here. So I'm going to list them. PT and CL. Now, all you're going to do is just replicate it, right? So that everything is nice and neat. So I'm going to say that I have PT on the top here and CL on the bottom. Now I go back and I actually say how many I have of each on both sides. So here for PT, I have one of them, right? This four does not go with the PT because there is no parenthesis. If you have a subscript and there's no parenthesis, it only goes to the element before it. So I have one PT and we have four chlorine or Cl. Whoop, there was one and four. Now let's go to the next side. PT again, I just have one, right? I don't see any numbers, so that assumes that I have one. And I have how many? Two chlorines. So put a two here. Okay, now we just have to balance. So let's, let's try it out. You always balance by multiplying to get to the next best number that's higher. So in this case, my PTs are balanced, so I'm not even going to look at these. But I'm going to look at my chlorines, and I want to go up to the next number. So is there any number that I can multiply by 2 to get to 4? Yeah, right? 2 times 2 will get me 4. That number that you're multiplying by is going to be the coefficient of the compound that you're adding it to. So here, I'm going to put a 2 in front of the Cl2. And then 2 times 2, just like we said, is 4. And that was the only uh, element of that guy. This 2 does not get even messed with the PT because there's an addition sign here. And yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm like, there's got to be a catch. But no, there is none. Th this is the answer. All we had to do is just put a two here. One and one, four and four. When all the numbers are the same on both sides for each individual element, you're done. So this is it. That That's as simple as it gets. Crazy, right? Hopefully this helps. Hopefully the chart helps. Let me know in the, in the comments what you think. Um, I hope you're doing well in all your classes and I hope you're doing great on your exams and just, just keep pushing hard. I know school can be tough sometimes, but you got this. All right. We got this together. So, uh, we have tons of questions for you. We have chem, math, and physics. If you guys are in any of those classes, go check those out as well. But as always, I hope you guys have a great, great, great day and I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.